And here we go. Now this is Flash at In a Perfect World, Vinnyless, on this second day of July, 2019. Hmm. Now there's a little bit of a confusion on if today is actually the day they signed the Declaration of Independence, or if it was actually the 4th of July that they signed it on. You decide. <clears throat> anyway, thanks, Grim. Grim was uh, on me yesterday about my lack of involvement with the Twitters. I don't do the Twitters very... I haven't opened it in a year. And yesterday, he made the point of showing me that when, uh, when he does back me up on Twitter posting my my show it gets a little bit more traffic well so I asked him hey does that mean that you're trying to get me to do it and he said nah you do what you're gonna do and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do but the I think the lesson learned is that if I want to proceed and move forward and do things in a better way it would help to listen to the people that give me advice but I guess I'm lazy. I don't like feeding the beast. I got a lot of reasons. But in the end, I guess I'm going to end up where I'm at no matter what I do. Ha! <laughs> anyway, uh, today, on In a Perfect World, I couldn't find any links that I really was excited about today. And so what I did was I opened up realliberty.org. It's uh, another project, Bo and uh, Grim, and I don't know who, Anthony, Anthony uh, the old guy from World Truth, they did a little thing called realliberty.org. And there's just so much out there. If you're not promoting your own stuff, it's not going to get any traction. And then, the, the you know, the Twitter and the YouTube and the... Facebook and all those big monster things are, I guess they're just too big for people to let go of to look for something smaller. So what I decided to do, let me see if I can pull this off. Uh, I'm going to read my blogs that I wrote from um, realliberty.org. <laughs> and some of them got a lot of uh, attention, I guess, from Grimner. Uh, putting them out on twi on Twitter or wherever he, whatever he does, I don't seem to do it. It's not my fault. I'm just kind of a <laughs> whatever everybody tells me to do. I just generally don't want to do it. So I think today we're gonna do some old blogs and see if we can't stir up a little excitement. And these are all <clears throat> excuse me, they're all posted on realliberty.org. And I've got no uh, audience, no live audience in the morning. But I'm going to say hi to the bots and the bodies, just as I always do, because it's the right thing to do. <laughs> anyway, we got... And thanks a lot for all the extra attention and work that you put out there. Do for me, Grimner. I guess this is the price you pay for having lazy radio people. <laughs> and we got... Barman, Beetle, Cowboy Tech, Grimner, Moose Girl, DC Brackets, Anti, Esmo, Chalcedony, Graham C, Ivy Don C, Java Doctor 2, Meister Brow, Ponder Gander, Miss Kate, Rooms, Vanna White, Vinny, Weather Dork, Z, The Phantom, Cyborg Noodle, Me, Frumpy, Gooberzilla, Gramit, J's, Nines, J's, Kiss, Kiss underscore, Pwn Sauce, Sock Puppet, and Smotass. That is the Bots and Bodies lineup for your reading entertainment. This uh, late night show that I do when everybody's asleep. It's kind of a gag at first. Uh, but see, Grim figured out a way to get it some, um, some attention by putting it on Twitter, which... I don't know. Anyway, let's go to a blog and see what I can come up with here. Now, I wrote this about four months ago, and it is entitled, Beating a Dead Horse or Vote Until You See It Doesn't Work. And it goes something like this. 
people refuse to see the difference between what they are told is real and what is real, depending on others to decipher their life experience as they allow the politicians to make rigid one-size-fits-all rules and to punish those who refuse to comply to the orders of the government they claim they chose. They say words like freedom and peace when there is little to be found anywhere on earth. The controls of government and their agents hit overreach many years ago. But with the aid of MSM and religion, the good sheep will be rewarded. And the bad sheep, well, they will be shunned by the slave masters that want total control of every action a man takes. In 2019, the idea that has the super country in a knot is building a wall that will never be built and is irrelevant at this time because the damage has already been done. You can't unfuck something unless you admit you fucked it up in the first place. Nobody has to this time taken responsibility for the immigration troubles they claim exist. It is one more way to keep the lies of the Fed going. Good luck with being treated in a humane way by the nastiest government on earth. Uh, and I'm sure there's plenty of folks out there that would uh, disagree with what I just wrote or what I have written. Uh, they think America is the answer, the this, the that. And it was, you know, it was a wonderful place to be once upon a time. But not not so much anymore, I don't think. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess that's enough to be said about beating a dead horse. Let me see if I can't get... Ah, here we go. I'm not used to navigating around realliberty.org when I'm, new, when I'm uh, <laughs> doing radio. I've not done this before. So bear with me and be a little more patient than usual. Because... <laughs> I really, I'm guessing at what I'm doing here. <laughs> Excuse me. But let's ponder this. There is ways to do anything. If you did, ah, there we go. Here is a another epic title. Let me see if I can't open it. Uh oh. Here we go. Now this little baby was about six months ago. I wrote this, and it said it's called Will. 2019 be the change we want. <laughs> we are now nine days into the new calendar year. And it still looks like 2018 to me. Governments still destroy the people they claim to aid. Educators still destroy young thinkers to enslave their future. And Israel and, their, and the other religions are still killing each other off in the name of God. Separating from church and state is only possible if you disengage from both. One hand cradles the other and the MSM lies to the reading public about cause and effect. We are told lies to be in fear and at war on a daily basis now. Does 2019 offer us the truth in word and deed from those who call themselves leaders instead of representation? <laughs> Will men wake up to reality and stop war? As long as we allow governments to control us, we will be controlled. Happy New Year to all, and remember, we get what we give. Now, I believe that, but hmm. see, I write a lot of stuff that uh, it's not popular. Man. I think that admitting the, uh, the failure of the society... Somehow people take it on personal and, and they behave as though it's got something to do with them. Uh, but who is to know? Anyway, let me go on with some more of this crap and see if I can't find something inspiring for you to listen to. Now, these are just short, short little ditties I wrote. Ah, uh, oh, here's, wait a minute. I got, let me go back to... The last one I had open. I have clicked too much, I think. And I passed up what I wanted to read. Oh, no, this is it. Now, this little ditty is called uh, The Reality of Reality 
is unreal. And I wrote it about seven months ago. And it goes like this. Pick a side. Pick a cause. Arm up and make a stand. Did you get your magnificent wall? Is the swamp clean? Are you happy now? Bush did his sneaky, greasy, warmongering, career-ending control games in the American political theater until the day uh, he died. Or did he? Oh, because I mistyped in that. Today, this lying, thieving prick was remembered by the state as a great man. The state will say anything to we the people to keep this illusion alive. If supporting government still seems like a grand accomplishment or a civic duty, will you show me your proof? If today you haven't noticed that everything lethal to us has been approved by Congress or one of its agents, maybe your reality is skewed or you are being told a pack of lies to be controlled in an open-air prison. If your reality sucks, it is your reality that sucks. Think about that. Wanting revenge gives the crime a longer life. Letting it go is usually beyond our capacity, and more moving forward on the fuel we are fed is impossible. Control your own reality, and the world at large gets smaller. Making the world look like something it is not is easier to do than you were taught to believe. Admitting you were lied to is the first act of preparing to look at the truth of this reality. Truth is not reality, and reality is not truth. Reality is controlled by the government that entertains you. The life you live is what you want it to be. Learn to control yourself, and everything else may work in your benefit or live within the confines of your government-protected reality. <laughs> well, this is a smartass. <laughs> and I wrote that seven months ago. Ooh. Uh, hmm. And then we got... Uh, I'm just going to go through the whole thing. There, I only wrote about 10 or 12 of these things, but they're, they're kind of entertaining. Let me see. Uh... uh, uh. Uh, okay, now, ah, here we go. Yeah, I'm having a little trouble figuring out how to load the next one without making the error of rereading the last one. And this little baby, eight months ago, was called The Boobs in Politics Ain't Pretty. And it goes like this. Years ago, we would judge a book by its cover. Today... Books are part of the past. Now we judge the book by a few lines of text with a stupid picture attached to it, and we call it progress. For all of the people who rely on government, medicine, or religion, the curtain has been pulled, the wizards have been exposed, and the masses still support the very things that have been used to destroy them. Fear-mongering has hit the speed of light, and the people cheered on as they ignore the truth calling the truth about these frauds conspiracy theories. It's easier to go along with the official story from the system than it is to stand against it. Standing alone, facing the beast, with a bottomless appetite for wealth and control, is not popular among the hordes of ill-informed, indoctrinated, useful tools of the state and its agents. It is, a good, it is good to see... That Ant, that's Anthony, has drawn the line in supporting Trump. I just would like to see him move on and be self-reliant and get beyond the group think of politics. The Kennedy days came and went. It is a dark time ahead and those who refuse to support the manipulations and threats of the sitting government that wants to control under the guise of freedom. The answers to life are inside of us, buried under years of garbage thrown at us by the greedy, self-righteous representation that has taken us all against our will and steered the ship towards total disaster, both real and imagined. Those men and women in seats of decision do as they are told by Israel. They swear allegiance to the Jews before they are funded to participate in the fake selections in state and federal government. It is time to look at reality and face it. 
Continuing down the road we are on is a never-ending disappointment. Good luck in your personal search. And remember, giving up is what they require to, con to continue this never-ending assault on mankind. Whoa, I'm so deep. I'm like a deep guy. The boobs in politics ain't pretty. Well, because we all know, hey, I like boobs. Boobs, they're great. And here we go on to the next little ditty I wrote back. Uh, hmm, let me open this. It's not cooperating quick enough. I want it to move faster. Or, wait a minute. I did it wrong. Hold on. We will go back to that. Anyway. Yeah, I haven't been writing blogs for a long time, but, uh, well, I've been given more attention, I suppose, to the radio and less attention to the writing O. But I, I think I just go in, uh, like, cycles. You know, something interests me here for a while, and then I get tired of it for a bit, and then I try something different. And, uh, let's see. Uh... Here we go. Let me try this one. Photo open. I think it will work. Just bear with me for a minute, you late night, not sleeping people that are out there in radio land. Oh, they're talking chitter chatter. And Meister Brown and Goober are still chatting on the RLM. Main feed chat. They've got something going on. Ah, it's not opening properly. Give me a minute to figure out what I have done this time. Because I will. I usually do, anyway. But I'm trying to not repeat which ones I read. And there's a, It's a little bit difficult to learn how to do this stuff while you're live on the radio. Now, this one is called... I think I can open it. Ooh, maybe not. Ah, here we go. I wrote this about... Uh, nope, that, I already read that one. So where am I going with, uh, let's see, should just, oh, here we go, my blogs, hmm, all right. Then I get the whole page of the blogs, and uh, it doesn't seem to open the one I want. Let me try that. And if this opens, I've got another short blog for your reading and listening entertainment. Well, I didn't post any of this stuff. No, now um, it's... I'm going to close RLO, and then I'm going to reopen it and see if I can't get lucky. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, writing blogs is kind of fun. For me, I'm, I, I, like, I think I write with a comic style sometimes, but I find a lot of other people don't find my humor humorous. So, hmm. You know, because uh, one man's meat is another man's vegetables. Unless, of course, you're talking about blogs. And then it's a completely different thing. But I'm trying to get these things open and I'm having a hard time. So, let's see what I'm going to do here. But, here we go. See, I've got, um, I've got the thing open, but it will not. Okay. Uh, huh. Lemme, 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 lemme. Ah, okay. Now let me try that one. Hmm. Yeah, so if you're, uh, if you've never bothered, realliberty.org, it's just a small little site. And, uh, it has potential, but it needs some support out there from people that listen to reason. <laughs> anyway, this little ditty is called, Am I Really Here? I wrote this about eight months ago, and it says, How do I exist in a world of absolutes when everything I encounter is subject to change from external sources? As I struggle with my awareness of life that is different from the life presented through the electronic world, it seems I am being herded again. The slightest resistance to the machinery that runs any society I encounter will bring me personal insults from my fellow sheep. In a world that runs on deception, misdirection, and bald-faced lies, standing against the official story that is fed to me by government has brought out 
the best in some of my fellows, on the other hand, has brought the worst out of others. I find myself choosing sides, picking winners, losers, and with these results, I find nothing important in life really changes. The problems of the past have grown into disasters of the present. It appears I do not learn from my mistakes or the mistakes made by the people who believe they are in control of my daily existence. Choosing my own path separates me from the herd and brings criticism from the sheep that need to be hand-fed and cuddled. I remember a simpler time when what I did was my business, what I said was my opinion, and people allowed me the opportunity to experience my life through my own senses. Personal experience doesn't need approval from others, so the next time I am called out for not obeying my master, I can rest assured the decision to avoid the social conventions that restrict my thinking is mine to make. I get the results I expect from the people who speak their views of what they see in my expressions of living in this disaster we call society. In the end, it won't even be a memory. <laughs> wow. How negative. Well, I'm just like a negative guy. All negative and stuff. Saying mean, horrible things about the government. And trying to put, I guess, the importance on uh, what you do. What I do, you know, what we choose is real. You know, it's not, <laughs> it's not the make-believe we're taught it is. The make-believe is the shit that they sell on Twitter and YouTube and Google and, all, you know, all the big platforms. So, I guess what I'm saying is I prefer the smaller, easier uh, sites, the small sites where you can actually meet people and get to know them a little bit. And these big Twitters and um, Facebooks are just, I don't know, once you get in there, you there's no individuality. It's not about individual. It's about, I don't know what it's about. Control? Control and censorship and say this right and say that right and blah, 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 blah. I like that, Moose. Blah, 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 blah. I like that a lot. Anyway, this little ditty called Real Liberty Media Radio is growing. I wrote this nine months ago. And uh, with the help of Grimner, I did get 131 views on the uh, on this particular... I got quite a bit of traffic, thanks to Grim. Uh, but the site didn't pick up any people. So, we're going to have to... Me and Vinny have to get together like we did on the uh, YouTube thing and we were struggling at some point just to get a hundred people uh, what do you call it subscribed no Anna you're not going out to the uh, YouTube channel we have over there real Liberty media and we gave up when we hit about 300 we stopped doing it and it stagnated and what that proved to me is uh, what Vinny does is he gets out there like Graham. He gets out there and he pounds and he works and he does and he keeps going and no matter what. I'm not as uh, concerned about people knowing what I write or say as I guess I should be. I don't feel it's... <laughs> seriously, I know this is going to sound insane. I don't feel that my version of reality is so important that people want to hear it. I just know that there there's a you out there there's a small fringe that are open to the possibility that society isn't what we think it is and that's the people I, I think I'm writing to or at uh, speaking to or at on the radio and uh, maybe I'll open up the dork table and and try to get more people to come on it so we can uh, be more what well, I guess diverse is no Hannah stop Diverse is probably what your uh, what my goal would be because I'm I'm not uh, I think people are people and all this divide and conquer separation gender and race and creed and all this crap just another mind game it, it's only it, it's only real if you if you've been told what you are if you never get told what you are how would you ever know what country you're from. Somebody else didn't tell you. <laughs> it's, it's not like you're born with this knowledge. Anyway, 
This little ditty I call real... Oh, no, I just read that. No, I didn't just read it, did I? Uh, real Liberty Media Radio is growing. Oh, yeah, I started to read it. Grimner has an addition to the RLM Radio lineup. Check RLM main feed for details. Art, oh, this is about Art Underground. Art Underground will be doing live music as far as I know right now. As you all know, the average online participant enjoys a variety of entertainment choices. And by God, we will have some variety. Right, Grim? Where is, whereas the above average online participant enjoy, enjoys his reality and mu with music, you know a little music makes the medicine go down. Art Underground did his first broadcast, and I woke up for the last 10 minutes, missed it, and have nothing to report. I say, take the plunge, go to RLM, and listen to something new, old, or different. Thanks, Art Underground. Now, unfortunately, Art Underground turned out to be a little hot-tempered about the anarchist scum that uh, frequents the reallibertymedia.com channel. And the radio there, and, and apparently he was uh, very deep in the state, and he abandoned the project because he didn't want to pander to the anarchist scum on the reallibertymedia.com. And I've found that as quite the compliment. I mean, uh, I, I've heard all the political shit all my life, and none of it's real. It's all a bunch of crap. Nothing happens the way it's, they tell you it's going to happen, and, and wow. Now, let me pick on a... Oh, I'm not doing too bad with opening these things now. I've got the gist of it. Just I'll hope I don't repeat because my, you know, I'm up early in the morning. It's 8 and 27 after... Um, 27 after 8 out here in 2nd of July 2019 in Denmark. Which means that my peers and pals and bots and bodies at reallibertymedia.com are all sleeping except for a handful you a few and uh yeah maybe they don't feel like listening to me bullshit this time of morning so i'm alone doing my radio program and this next little ditty is called am i really here about eight months ago i wrote this and uh, 132 views i mean for a little blog like this it's a lot more than i ever expected so thanks grim and it goes like this how do I exist in a world of absolutes when everything I encounter is subject, subject to change from external sources? As I struggle with my awareness of life that is different from the life presented through the electronic world, it seems I am being herded again. Hold, I'm going to let my dog out. Give me 10 seconds, guys. Be right back. Come on. Thanks for your patience. This is the one drawback of uh, doing early morning radio and the wife's gone, gone to work. Last week she was home, so she babysat me. <laughs> Did all the, all the dog and cat stuff while I was working the radio podcast. So, let me see where did I live off. Uh, it seems I am being herded again. The slightest resistance to the machinery that runs any society I encounter will bring me personal insults from my fellow sheep. I'm sure I didn't read this already. I don't see I can't tell. In a world that runs on deception, misdirection... No, oh, I think I did just read this. Uh-oh. Yeah, whoops. Did I take two. We have to try it again. I am I really here. Whoa, we're blowing this show this morning. <laughs> and we'll go to the next one, I hope. Um... No, that was the one about uh, Art Underground. And it's a shame that, you know, people with uh, different ideas, they, uh, they want to be agreed with and, you know, and, uh, pampered and coddled and loved. And I'm telling you, I've been doing radio for a long time, and I still to this day 
get people type shit to me on the chat when I'm doing radio because they're tired of hearing what I got to say instead of turning off the radio. <laughs> so here we go. The magic of radio and other strange ideas. I wrote this about nine months ago. 150 views. And it goes like this. It's about me. There once was a radio host called Flash that turned all his co-hosts to ash. They came and they chattered about shit that don't matter. It was rumored Miss Mary jumped off a ladder, but she just fell off the fence. Anyway, I have made more co-hosts disappear than the CIA. Vinny was my first victim, then came Miss Mary, then Vinny again. Can I count Vinny twice? Rob Works is going to stand in for Vinny on In a Perfect World this week. The dork table seems to be the Titanic of the RLM. I am the lone survivor of another ship drifting in the moral depravity and human degradation that is called modern society. It's a big table to sit at all by myself, but I can do it. Entertaining the mind is harder than it looks. At In a Perfect World, we offer... Oh, see, I switched up. We offer a variety of alternate views to use as we encounter the world around us. Sometimes we just argue about the color blue. The dork side awaits your arrival. Now, I don't really know where I was going with that. Just screwing around and trying to... I guess have a moment that was fun but <laughs> yeah for a while I couldn't I still can't I have the hardest time getting people to do radio with me mm. so we're gonna go on to let's see um, this is only a test now for whatever reason I'm having trouble I always have trouble with computers so <laughs> If you want to ever read these uh, blogs, like I said four times already, realliberty.org, and you go to blogs. Not a lot of people bothered. I, I think I'm probably one of the few that did. But here we go again. This is only a test written about nine months ago, 174 views. Congratulations to all you voters and voterettes out there in Happy Land, USA. You have done it again. The appointment of your newest slave master on the SCOTUS is the best of the best of the best. I really mean that. There wasn't a better choice to put in the seat. I really mean that. Allowing nine relics in a mental state of decay to dictate the law of the land is not only ridiculous to me, but I lack to see the freedoms either protected or rescinded. Uh-oh. Got a game pop-up. Hold on by this group of society's greatest thinking minds. I sense there are those of you who have a different opinion than I have. Alas, you are forlorn. As you watch a fellow sheep ignore this state of sanction, this state sanctioned nonsense and walk away. I do think there are two sides to the coin, but it is still a coin. So if SCOTUS has taught me anything in my lifetime, it is. SCOTUS is no less a scam than the thieves in government it represents. See Grammy Mary for definitions. <laughs> you could always put your shit-kicking boots on and see what Cowboy Tech has to say, or Rob Works, or Grimner, or dot dot dot. The point is simply the divide and conquer starts at home, and it works better than any of the planners had expected. So again, congratulations, and remember, the police have no duty to protect the individual citizen. There are plenty of links about it, uh, There are plenty, yeah, but give thanks to SCOTUS, it was their ruling that made it possible. Wow, I'm just a negative Nelly with all my nasty little comments about the government. Ooh. You know, I mean, if you didn't know me, I guess you'd get the idea that uh, I don't like the government. Maybe it's, maybe I don't. <laughs> Let's see. I might be skipping around, but I'm going to go to this next one called Don't Drink the Water. Hey, a hunt, 10 months ago, 157 views. Hmm. And I'm serious. For somebody that's as small as I am doing these little tiny things, uh, to me, that's a lot of people to, to take the time to read this stuff. 
And uh, it goes like this. I recently saw a link that explained alkaline water and the benefits of drinking it. My first question is, if this is true, why does state add fluoride and sell it as good for us? Fluoride exists in nature, they said, but it's not a lethal dose in your drinking water. The Fed was within the legal guidelines, so they did nothing wrong. A lethal dose of fluoride? Question mark. Fluoride is added to a shitload of products and sold as good for us. I've started to become suspicious of the government. I think they are lying to us as they smile and poison our natural water sources and other life necessities. Maybe if I vote harder or pick the right POTUS, this will be repaired in 20 or 30 years. In the meantime, I'll just get things I need to find out if it's true or not. I will report my findings as they develop. Ooh, typos up that wazoo and that baby. But, uh, so what I ended up doing... This goes back uh, about 10 months ago. But what I ended up doing is following what Grim said is uh, having a shot of baking soda and a glass of water in the mornings when I get up. Most times, it's the very first thing I do. Other times, eh, I drift a little and then I don't remember till after I'm done with the radio. <laughs> don't drink the water. Wow. <laughs> so now we're going to go to the... <laughs> oh, here's one. And me and Vinny's first podcast show title I got to name was called, and this is a parody of it. This is No Time for Rational Thinking, Part 2. Ten months ago, 172. Knowledge is rated by strangers who decide if your ability to re regurgitate useless facts and figures should be rewarded with a debt to the federal government. You will never earn enough money uh, enough fiat to repay. Your years back, knowledge was doing things from start to finish. The example set by education today only requires a minimum for secondhand reports. Uh, a, minimum, a memory for secondhand reports and the ability to blame everything wrong today on mistakes that were obviously made by design. Two full-blown financial fuck-ups fuck are replacing hemp and synthetics and corrupting commerce with a central bank. I know it's more fun to blame the Jews in the Senate, but if you support either of those two cluster fucks, you deserve what you have. Endless war, worthless money, and a medical profession that sells poison under the guise of maintaining your health. Yearly government salaries are theft beyond what the Filthy masses receive as a reward to be in poverty. A means of finance in a land where work has been smuggled out of the country by the thieves trusted to run things and make life good for all. The good side <laughs> is all this will continue for as long as you support it. If you don't support it, don't let it bug you. Nobody really cares what you think anyway. The strength only comes from the blind side, scared to death of the enemy as they cry for more safety and security from the beast killing people but they ignore the beast because it may turn on them someday hmm. my solution is too simple for the complex modern day thinking mind number one stop living in lies number two stop murdering people in mass through the lies of government number three grow hemp like you mean it <laughs> Just a little fun with blogs and uh, <laughs> rereading. I haven't read any of this stuff since I wrote it, I don't think. Eh, maybe I've gone back here and there, but wow. Now, here's another. <laughs> I still got more. <laughs> now, this little baby's called. They said it couldn't be done, so I tried it. Ten months ago, 135 views. And it goes like this. Earlier this morning, here in a faraway land, I was reading Minds.com. I have posted the site link, and a member there asked about realliberty.org. I told the truth and suggested she look and judge herself. Today, we have a new member that came to see. You guys help me get where I am by posting the wacky links and unbelievable truths about politics, religion, and medicine. Now, beyond what I think or believe... 
there is the info at my fingertips to see the mess we all share. Thanks to them who helped, and so long to those who did the opposite. Your pal Flash, somebody. Harder, and it's good to see new people from other sites. Check this out. Flash somebody harder. <laughs> well, you know, I was trying. I guess it didn't translate, but they always say, vote harder. Rob Works and Grimner. And I don't know. The crowd, the anti-state crowd that we carry. is. Whew. There's a few people that uh, hmm. they are as unpleased with government as everybody else. So let me see if I think that just about covers my blogs in the uh, realliberty.org. And if it doesn't, that was enough. But we, uh, hmm. we're living in a dangerous time at this point right now. Uh, there's a lot of people that are threatened by if the power goes out, what are we going to do? And I've tried to make this point. I'm going to try to continue to make this point that I believe if the power goes out for them, or for us, it goes out for them too. You can't can't just, well, the power is going to go out for these people and those people. and that. It, it seems like it could be done. But, I don't know, the hackers and the, and the activists out there in the real world, not the shit that you see on the freaking MSM or Lynx or Portland with Antifa fighting the whatever boys and all this crap. Uh, it's promoted by the state. The government wants these kids fighting each other in the street. And SCOTUS ruled long ago that the police have no duty to protect the citizen. So, when these kids are attacking people, driving down the freaking street in their cars and pulling them out and beating them up, and the police just stand by and do fuck all, that's illegal. They don't have to do anything. They use their own discretion. I think they use that same discretion when they're trying to shoot at you. But uh, maybe some of them are just, um, they're better aims than, <laughs> the military underestimated them <laughs> and sent them home. Oh, you can't be off there and fighting in that war anymore. You have to go home now. Or maybe they didn't re-up. I met uh, quite a few Marines in Jacksonville that. Once they did it, they did their stretch. And they, nah, I want to get out of this. I don't want to be in the military. And they did. They left the military and found <laughs> other sneaky shit forms of uh, finance to support them. Uh, for example, I've mentioned this. I, I try not to use names because uh, these people are, for, as far as I know, still alive in North Carolina. I wouldn't want to hurt their itty bitty feelings. But a good friend of mine's husband ditched the military to go into. Uh, <laughs> he wanted to be a prison guard. You know, the pay's good and got him away from the, the house. He, he wasn't happy with his wife and kid. He actually uh, <laughs> had everything in the world, but he wanted something else and uh, chased it and lost his family over it. But uh, I guess when money is more important to you than uh, the people that care about you, well, being a prison guard is probably the best job you could have got. And as our friendship was... De um, disintegrating because of his choices, I suppose. We were drifting away. He was a, we were smokers. We would um, smoke together. And it, it just got to me the hypocrisy of him coming over to smoke with me and bitching about the guys in prison, you know, because he's on all their games. He knows what they're doing. You know, he's been there for like three or four months. And all of a sudden, he's an expert on criminal behavior. <laughs> No, actually, I think what he had was the, the ability to absorb the things around him and mimic and play the game. And that was the game he chose. And We haven't spoken in years and years, but I've spoken to his wife. And uh, wow, what a world we're in where people will choose uh, financial success over the promises that they, they made to other people and before the <laughs> before the decision to make came so that you know you get married you're supposed to get married forever now I've been married three times my second wife is passed away uh, my first wife we got married really young so it was just kind of a crazy uh, crazy thing didn't 
it it was encouraged by family and there was a lot of problems involved with it. It didn't work out. And the second one, I waited until I was in my 30s. And again, I just was not marriage material. I couldn't get my shit together. And now I met Sirk. And of course, now I'm a grown man, 59 years old. And uh, when I met Sirk, I was in my early 50s. And I didn't think at that time. I figured I'd learn my lesson with relationships. And I just got out of one about eight months before I met Sirk. It ended a 10-year relationship. So I wasn't looking to uh, reinstall the me mechanism, so to speak. But life is kind of funny, and I'm, I follow my instinct. I don't necessarily feel that uh, just because you tell me I have to do something, that I have to do something. There's, there's exceptions to every rule. Uh, and the anarchist principle about doing no harm it's basically physical harm we're speaking of because you can't control how somebody else interprets what you say in words you know and if you consider that words can do irreparable damage you know that can't be repaired with a uh, an answer or two well hmm that's pretty shallow minded i think cuz uh Fuck, me and Cirque are so sarcastic to each other. If you were listening on to the shit we say to each other, you wouldn't believe that we were married. <laughs> well, well, maybe you would. But uh, we both have that sarcastic kind of shit thing going on. <laughs> so I appreciate my wife's sense of humor. And other people, I don't know. Sometimes maybe I don't get what they're saying or what they're saying to me isn't funny. That's possible. You know, because it's easy to be judgmental and better than everybody else. We all seem to fall into that trap in the, the text world. My opinion's better than your opinion, you dumbass. You don't know anything. <laughs> and here we are, 20 and 19, on the verge of freaking war at every point on the freaking planet. Somebody wants to kill these people and change them and... They're going to get nuclear weapons and attack Israel. They must be stopped. Stop them. Help, help. Well, Israel's had nuclear weapons for, what, 40 freaking years so far, I think. They uh, go back to the 60s when they were investigating. And the original story I read was what the Jews did was they agreed to an inspection in the beginning in the 60s. But what they did, instead of a nuclear arms site they were showing the public this uh, nuclear energy face so you know to fool the people looking on to it and it worked because you can't argue with Israel if you try to pick on Israel you will end up the sore loser on the end of the sore loser shit stick it happens it's always happened it will continue to happen there are far too many religious zealots on this planet right now preaching all their crap about, you know, Muhammad and Jesus and Jesus and all this other shit that afterlife crap, you know, this book of written by God and all this kind of nonsense. And the reason I'm so negative about it is in my experience in life, what I've seem to have followed is the vibrations and the frequencies the resonance how something makes you feel physically on a level that I think a lot of the time I wasn't even aware it existed but when it was brought to my attention then I started to look and that's what I think this is all about when something gets your attention you need to follow it to see where it goes some people don't have that ability maybe possible then it's possible I'm just full of myself and I think I'm fucking wonderful but who is to know you know is there a right and a wrong and all this crap we've been fed over the years uh, the right always turns out to be a trap the wrong always turns out to be an opinion of you know what somebody did and I'm not talking about the big you know murder rape and stealing I'm talking about 
driving without a seatbelt, walking across traffic, you know, jaywalking, shit that. They're victimless crimes until something happens. So we're in this uh, preventive, let's prevent this from happening state of mind. And I don't see it. You cannot predict the future. I try all the freaking time and cannot for the world do it. Let me see if I can't find a link to read here. Uh, I'm on the realliberty.org and uh, we got Hal Anthony with from behind the woodshed. He posted his site from Sunday night. He does a Sunday night podcast. Has for years. Years and years. And sometimes uh, I can't find a use for legal knowledge. But I do try to stay informed. So I, I pay attention to what uh, Hal has to say. And if I ever need it, I have it. And that's my uh, my security, I suppose, with it. Uh, if I should ever need something, all I need is the internet to retrieve it. And then now we've got the threat of, oh, the power is going to go down. They're going to take the internet away from us. So what? And then what are they going to do? Send out thugs and cars and tanks to come and harass you in your home randomly or maybe on a list. Wow, that's what we're coming to because uh, I read we live in freedom. And I also read that Donald Trump is the best president since Obama. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't see it. I do not. It, I was at the bar yesterday and uh, I met a new guy. Another Dane that had traveled to America, been to California, L.A., just wanted to have a little time to practice his English and reminisce about his trip. So I did. And he was funny and amusing about it all. And he was, he was as more amazed that I lived in L.A. and I wanted to be here than anything else. It just seemed to get beyond him. Uh, and I... I've tried to explain to people I didn't plan to live in Denmark. I don't want to be a Danish freaking citizen. I just got connected, hooked with a Danish woman. And the opposite of me, where her state treats her better than my state did. I got to say that out loud. And even when she's pissed off at the state, uh, still things are functioning here they're probably going to fuck up in the future because the the group that got power is the side that wants to open their arms to the muslims and all that shit and what they're going to do they're going to open a can of fucking whoop ass if the people i've been listening to are telling me the truth they're not going to put up with it not in the smaller places the bigger places you don't really have a choice but there's only so many houses available to the you know to live in in this area they're not building anymore because there isn't any land to build on. So, and we're at the we're at the coast, so there's nowhere to go beyond here. Uh, once you hit us, you hit water. So there's no attraction to where we live except to get away from all the trappings of the societies that we've been living in all these years. And I think because I was so ill-prepared for uh, doing the show today, I, I had my wife home for the weekend, and we were doing more shit out in the garden, and kind of fucking off. She stayed home yesterday from work, and uh, today she decided to go in. I thought she was going to stay home and help me with my radio, but she didn't. So with that, I'm going to do an extra short In a Perfect World for your listening pleasures and uh, thank everybody that did and did not do what they did and did not do. Mostly grim. <laughs> oh, Rob Works, Cowboy Tech. Oh, who else is here? We got Sock Puppet and Gooberzilla and, you know, because just Woody Meisterbrow. You know, because just because we tend to disagree about, you know, the big things in life, you know, that's internet site chat. That's what we do. We argue about stupid shit that doesn't matter. Because if you, if you do, I think if we do this, it, it's like a release valve. You know? 
it keeps you off strangling somebody in person. <laughs> you can go get mad at Gooberzilla for writing spaceships 50 times. And that's not a serious thing to be upset about. So it's like, wow, it's a trade-off to me. And with that, I'm going to do the lineup coming up on the reallibertymedia.com radio out of memory. So Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 o'clock on the East Coast, we got Graham Z doing the Rocket Chair podcast, 7 p.m. on the East Coast. And on Friday, well, Friday afternoon, I don't know, Vinny does come and go with his Ponder Gander. So maybe a Ponder Gander at 1, maybe not, we'll find out. And then 11 o'clock on Friday night, you got Grimner and Moose Girl do the, the Freakers Ball. Pretty much the cornerstone of the RLM. And then Saturday, I come back at noon <laughs> and do a dork table. Oh, I forgot Thursday night. Let's see, I'm doing this all out of order, but we, we have a, a radio lineup that's in print for you to open if you want to ever see it. And Thursday night at, or Thursday afternoon, 2 o'clock on the East Coast, I do. Well, I should just come back to that. I think I'll do it the other way. Say Saturday dork table. Sunday morning, we got Grimner comes on with the blues. And then we play trivia till about 3 o'clock in the West Coast. And Hal Anthony comes on from behind the woodshed. Does his... Uh, uh, the info that you need to know if you engage the government, the state, the Admiralty Court, whatever you know source of control you're dealing with, that's what House his specialty is. And the administration, especially, that goes into dealing with these people. And then Monday night, 7 o'clock on the East Coast, you got Grimner does Grim Leftovers. Grim Leftovers are the links he didn't get to. With Moose Girl on Friday night doing the Freakers Ball. Then again, Wednesday, 7 o'clock, Grammy on the uh, Rocket Chair podcast. And then Thursday, I come back at 2 o'clock on the East Coast with 20% off. Well, folks, uh, I'm going to just do this one short show this week. I, I really didn't feel uh, like I had much going on, so I'm going to release you. And let you be free. <laughs> Have a good one. And thanks a lot for playing along with me on In a Perfect World. Later.